Hey guys, it's Jenny. Welcome back once again to Solid Gold. If you can't tell already by the huge smile that's plastered across my face, I'm really excited today because I'm finally adding my five new Dandy Randis goldfish that I've had in quarantine for the past a little over five weeks now to my main 120 gallon goldfish tanks with my other group of goldfish that I've had for several months now and everybody's gonna be added together in the 120 gallon aquariums and I'm so excited. So let's turn on these lights. Oh my gosh. I actually forgot how awesome looking those tanks were because the lights have been off for so long and now I'm like rediscovering. This is gonna be the butterfly telescope tank. My arandas and lion heads and ranchu, which I don't have any yet but I will in the future, are gonna go in this tank. And then my pearl scales and maybe another type in the future too, but for now just pearl scales are gonna go in that tank up there. All the new fish are great. As you guys know from a video that I posted a few weeks ago, Miko was sick with a little bacterial infection. Opportunistic bacteria had set into a few little shipping wounds that he had and I treated him with antibiotics and he cleared up really quickly and he has been completely um, bacteria infection free for the past about two weeks. Look at how big they're getting. All of them are growing so much. Like Melina's so big now that it almost scares me. Look at you, you're a big girl. And then look at Nalu. Nalu's huge too and Marshmallow is getting fatter and bigger and rounder by the day. The two little guys are growing too, especially Hoku here. He's growing probably the most. Look at that big belly. And then Denzel's growing too. Look at how much they beg. This is like them 100% of the time. Just like always, always in begging mode. There is no other mode really. Begging and eating. Those are the two modes. That's it. <laughs> you guys are the cutest. Oh my, Denzel, everybody loves you because of your puppy dog face. Everybody loves you, you know that? Why are you so shy? He's rejecting the love. Come back. He's really like standoffish compared to the rest of them. So nonchalant, so chill, just like, what? No, I don't want attention. I don't want any food. And yet here he is. Here's the new guy's jelly bean over here. Oh my gosh, the crown on his head is growing too. There's like a new, dent like a huge big new bubble part of it right there slow down bud you don't want that thing to get too big do you he's doing really well he's going to be a new friend for marshmallow in the pearl scale tank and then we've got this ingot aranda guy here i've decided to name him percy because i was split between percy and miko for the new butterfly that's down below this tank and you guys helped me choose the name miko for him but there were so many of you that liked the name percy too so that's what this guy's name is gonna be. And then Toast, hi Toast, she's so cute. And then we've got Kai up there. What are you doing, are you waiting for food? He's waiting for food. But he's gonna be moved in with the butterfly telescopes today. And then so is Miko down here. Miko, you're in the dark. Yeah, that's better. Hey Miko, are you ready for moving day? All right, let's get this thing started.
Well, that's everyone set up in their new homes. I am loving it, loving the groupings of having all the butterfly telescopes together. It just makes my heart happy. Denzel is kind of staying off to himself. Denzel's a shy little guy. It takes him a while to get used to new friends. So I think we gotta feed them because for goldfish, there's no better icebreaker than food. These guys will always be the most fun. Now that I have some other varieties of goldfish too, you guys will really be able to see the differences between the different varieties. Like butterfly telescopes, for example, are usually some of the most tame and friendly. And they're just little hands. All right guys, I won't keep you waiting. bump into each other like little sumo wrestlers or something. It's adorable. Well, everybody is moved in now to their 120 gallon aquariums. I still have one that is sitting empty and that's gonna be probably a future home for Ryukins and maybe pom-pom uh, goldfish too. And then I have four more 120 gallon aquariums still coming from custom aquariums in the next probably was it gonna be like 13 weeks or so? Something, something like that. So it's gonna be a little bit of a wait until those ones get here. And in the meantime, I have two 40 gallon quarantine tanks that I can use to hold some new fish in. I feel like this space would be kind of going to waste if I only focused on, if I only had one variety of goldfish out here. So my vision is that I'm going to have at least one from almost every variety of goldfish out there represented here in the room. So it'll really be a good representation of goldfish as a whole and really help people realize that goldfish are so much more than just those 10 cent or I don't even know how much they sell them for to be honest, but those super cheap feeder goldfish at the pet store. There's so much more to goldfish than that and I really hope that's what people get out of my videos. So let me know if it's working in the comments down below. <laughs> Sometimes I get questions about why I move the goldfish with my hands instead of with a net or people just think it's cute that I'm moving them with my hands. But just so you know, it actually is the preferred way to handle goldfish and move them from one place to another. It's way better than using a net because a lot of net materials are really rough and plus goldfish fins are really delicate. They're delicate in a weird way because they have some structure to them, they have some rigidity to them. So it's not like they can just get you know bumped around and then spring right back into place. It has fin rays inside of the fin tissue which is the structural part of the fins. So if those parts get bumped they can actually get broken. So you cannot be as gentle as you need to be with the big fancy types of fish, especially butterfly telescopes with the big rigid tails because if you, if you bump them the wrong way in the net, you can break their fin and that'll never heal. But if you're picking them up and holding them with your hands, you can actually feel where the rigidity in the fins is and you can be more gentle around those areas of the fins. So that's always, always my preferred way of handling my fish if I need to move them from one place to another, especially with the larger, more fancy fin types of goldfish. Obviously, you wouldn't want to hold your goldfish in your bare hands for an extended amount of time. That wouldn't be very good for them. Some people even choose to use gloves when handling their goldfish 
that choice is completely up to you. I'm just telling you from my experience and from a lot of other goldfish breeders and keepers, a lot of us handle our goldfish with bare hands with no problems. But if you're a little bit worried about it, you can always choose to use gloves. I have a very good friend who's also a goldfish keeper and breeder that always uses gloves when she's handling her fish. That's her personal choice and I'm all for it. So you really have to just decide for yourself. One thing you can do to protect the slime coat of your fish when you're handling them is make sure you never handle your fish with dry hands. Always make sure that your hands are wet first and clean. Clean them with a very safe, non-toxic type of soap. Make sure you rinse them off really well before handling your fish. And it is good if your hands are wet with the same temperature of water that the fish is living in because if your hands are way warmer than the fish's body, it can be uncomfortable for them. So just a few things to keep in mind. But yes, it's perfectly fine to handle your goldfish with bare hands. It's even recommended over nets. So that's all I have for today's video. Video, guys thank you for joining me and also a quick save the date for any Minnesotan viewers out there I will be visiting family in August again this year and I figured I would work out a little meet-and-greet event into my family trip this time so I'm going to be uh, hosting an event at a local aquarium store in Minneapolis Minnesota on Sunday August 13th so just to quick save the date, I don't have any of the details for you guys yet, but I'm working on it and I will have them um, all finalized as soon as possible and I'll let you guys know in future videos and also on my Facebook and Instagram. So keep an eye out for that, but I just wanted to give you guys a save the date so you can plan in advance to be there. I hope to see a lot of you Minnesotans out there and it'll be really fun. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you next time and until then, stay gold.